So today we're going to be working on lesson two from module five, sixth grade math. We're going to be doing, covering the area of right triangles. Yesterday we already talked about area of rectangles and squares. We also talked about area of parallelograms. And at the very end of yesterday's class, we figured out that the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, or it's base times height divided by two. There's one other way that I want to remember, remind you that we could do it is we can turn the one half or the two into a decimal. And so this would be area equals five tenths times base times height. So there's my decimal. So any one of those formulas would work. So let's look at the first problem over here. It's problem one is right triangle with uh, a side of 15, a side of 8, and a hypotenuse of 17. Now with right triangles, what's kind of convenient about them is they already form a perpendicular line. So you can just pick one of those to be your base, one of those to be your height. It doesn't matter because if I rotated this triangle, the 8 may be, be on, 8 may be on the bottom, 15 may be on the bottom, or well, 17 may be on the bottom, but 17 is not an angle that forms right triangles. So 17 is a hypotenuse. It will not be a base or a height. So let's go back to our main problem. On every problem, what I want you to do is I want you to write out area equals one half base times height. And then we're just going to fill in our numbers. So we're trying to find area. So area equals one half times and I'm going to pick 15 as my base, 15 feet times 8 feet. Okay? So now I can just kind of multiply them together. And I'm going to write area equals, because I'm still trying to find my area. Now, this is where I'm going to use my really quick lazy math brain. 1 half and 8. I can find that really quick. If I try to find 1 half of 15, that's going to give me a decimal, and I don't want to work with decimals yet. So 1 half times 8 is going to be 4 feet times 15 feet. Now if we multiply them together, area equals 4 times 15 is 60. Feet times feet is feet squared. That is my answer. Now, let's see if this actually makes sense. If what is if I wanted to find the rectangle, 15 times 8 would be 80, 120. Is 60 half of 120? There you go. That works for us. Now, we're going to go right to the next page. Number 5 is the same as before. We're going to skip number 6. Um... Skip number seven is something that I want you to think about on your own. Let's look at number eight. Eight's one of those problems that's going to kind of make you think backwards. The area of a right triangle is six and twenty-two hundredths. So the area is six and twenty-two hundredths. Square inches. I can't write that in there, but it'd be inches squared. The base is 3.11. There we go. And do we know the height? Uh, let's see, the base is the height. No, we do not know. We're looking for h. So let's again rewrite the equation. A equals, and since I'm working with decimals, I'm going to use 5 tenths, which is 1 half, times the base, which would be 3.11, or 3 and 11 hundredths, times whatever h is. There we go. But we know the area. The area is 6 and 22 hundredths equals. Now let's multiply these together. 5 times 3.3 and 11 tenths. 0.1 times 5. So 5 and 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. And where do I put my decimal? Let's see. I have 2 on this one. And I have 1 on this one. So it's going to be 1. 
and 555 thousandths. So it's 1 and 555 thousandths times h. Now, to find this here, because now we're missing a factor, factors are in a multiplication problem. So since we're missing h, we need to divide, this is going to be my dividend. So this becomes over here, becomes 6 22 hundredths divided by 1 and 5, 555 thousandths. Move the decimal three times, move the decimal three times. Now, how many times does this big number, 1,555, go into 6,220? Well, let's think. Let's do some things. This is close to, this number right here is close to 15. How many times does 15 go into 60? Well, that would be 4, so I'm going to guess 4. Now let's do the math. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22, carry the 2. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22, carry the 2. Bring the 1 over here. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. My answer is 4. 4 what's though? This is inches squared. This is inches, so my height is going to be 4 inches. There we go. That's the lesson for today. Hope you had a good time. Please don't subscribe. Bye.